Hello everybody, Brett here with Double Shots, and today I am excited because I am doing something that I have not done on Double Shots channel yet. I want to thank Dylan for allowing me to do this. St. Louis Market, you've been hearing a lot of talk about it. It is finally here in select areas. They are phasing in fiber internet, guys. Fiber internet and Eventually, the reason why we are on this screen right here, I'm going to show you a speed test of what I get. That being said, I want to thank Double Shots again for allowing me to go ahead and do this video. I am not getting paid a bounty bonus or anything or a commission. I am doing this on my own independent research. Fiber optic internet, what is it? So the difference between traditional internet, which right now a lot of people have either ADSL or UVerse, which is really just souped up D DSL for a lot of people that has slower speeds than fiber optic. The difference is uh, copper, so traditional internet such as UVerse or DSL, or they have services that are sending electronic, electric signal signals over copper as compared to fiber it's its own dedicated piece and the fiber it sends the transfer of information by sending light over fiber optic so there's a lot of fiber optics out there a lot of your stereo systems with uh, dolby 5.1 or 7.1 they're starting to sell more fiber optic because the light transfer is 10 times or 100 times the speed of what it is sending an electric signal via copper. Sort of like what, uh, I guess, cable services as well, too. And so pretty much, again, it is a form of broadband that is a, use a network of bundled tiny glass fibers called fiber optic cables to deliver internet service via light waves. So let's go ahead and get started on this because a lot of people in St. Louis, you're probably seeing that they're coming, they're digging up your yards, they're putting everything in, but it's not everything all at once depending on where you are. Usually they're connecting the street ahead and then if you actually have a pad mount that actually already has the connection set up, you're able to get it there and they'll have to run lines and everything. It is really truly different. When I say it's a replacement box it is a replacement box from your other box they're also putting their telephone services into it as well too or VoIP which actually gives a little bit bundled uh, platform and better voice clarity to that as well too meanwhile what they'll do is they'll come out they'll hook everything up uh and it depends. Now, on the personal side of things, I know it's rather quick for the installation. On the business side of things, you're looking at a 45-day possible installation time where they actually have to have an engineer come out and actually do the assessment. And then they'll trench everything and put your fiber, run it dedicated to where it is. So the fiber optic cable is very, very flimsy. So they tell you to be very careful with the one that is connected into your modem. And it's just either a white modem that you usually get that is really, really, it's a Netgear modem. Or not Netgear. It is a uh, Nokia modem. And it is really, really good. I love it. Uh, so far, no complaints with that. That being said... AT&T has a whole bunch of plans to get you in. And what I like about it right now as well, too, is no contract, guys. That's right. No contract. So they are taking the risk. They are installing it free of charge as well, too. No installation fee for them to come in and do that. That is awesome. And there is no termination fee. What's not to have minus them drilling a hole somewhere in your house possibly to put it not bad and then they'll put a uh, brain module sort of like the uverse module was but something a little tinier they'll put that in where the fiber actor connects in that being said let's get into the plans now they have up to a gig when i say a gig it is truly gig now keep in mind you're going to get those gig speeds wired they're wireless. It's going to be a little bit harder to pull, but yes, uh, if you actually have your computer hardwired into a network or directly to your computer, you're going to pull one gig. 
However, I, I like my stuff. Uh, I like everything actually wireless. It's more convenient for me. This is actually the plan I am actually on right now, which is up to a gig is what they offer. It depends on the latency and everything as well, too. If you have auto pay, it's $80 a month. Otherwise, it's $90 a month. And when I say one gig upload, I'm truly talking one gig upload here, guys. Uh, but I am wireless on this unit, so I'm going to probably pull about a little uh, uh, a little smaller speed. I'll probably pull about 500 uh, on that. But I want to show you the upload speeds, guys. And this is their one gig plan. It's connecting now. And some uh, they've got to use my... Look at this. Insane numbers. Even though this is half of the one gig speed. Five hundred and forty six MBPS down, but look at the upload speed here, guys. Look at the upload speed right here. Just alone wireless. Five hundred and seventy five MBPS. That is insane. Not even and I'm a big fan of T Mobile home internet. Not even my T Mobile home internet. Pulls 575.90 on the upload speed, guys. That is incredibly insane, especially for users that need that for high uploads. <laughs> it is huge. Even at the 546, some most of the time wireless on my T-Mobile, it would be the about the same way. But that is insane on my computer. Then I'm going to come here to my phone. And I will go ahead and put it in here for everybody so everybody can see. If I can get to speed test, sorry. And here we go. I'm not sure. Are you able to see it? I'm going to go. Oh, sorry. I am not online. <laughs> that was my fault. I was not on Wi-Fi. Let's exit out of this. And here we go. Closer there. Keep in mind, this is wireless. Five milliseconds. Look at the speed. I'll take that. 600 right there, and over 395 on my upload. The speeds are phenomenal. I love it. Uh, again, I'm on the one gig plan, which I, or the one gig, and what's nice about it as well, too, is there's no data caps, no throttling, and what they also say is, during on peak when it's heavily congested, you're still getting that speed, which I've had it for weeks so far, and so far I haven't seen anything with it. Now, keep in mind in the St. Louis market, it's not as saturated yet, meaning there's not a lot of users actually on fiber in certain areas yet. So once it starts getting more congested, I could probably give a little bit of a better assessment. But that is insane, especially for the upload speed. And I upload a lot of stuff, which it saves me a lot more time than my T-Mobile internet does as well, too. Plus, the nice thing is for streaming services. There are some things T-Mobile now has made it to where you cannot stream with their internet. Or, well, providers have made it to where you can't stream with the T-Mobile home internet that you can stream with AT&T just because of the IP address that they give you is local to your area compared to T-Mobile is not. That being said, let's go on with the other plans. They have a 500 Mbps plan, which is $65 a month on auto pay, $75 if you decide not to have auto pay, where they'll give you guaranteed 500 Mbps 
on the AT&T network of everything, and that is guaranteed speed. Now, keep in mind, your guaranteed speed is only when you hook up via hardwire. And I will probably do that one day just to go ahead and see as well, too. Uh, I do know hardwire. I do pull that. But that being said, uh, I might do it again just to see. I am content with the speeds that I get here, so it doesn't bother me being on that platform plan plus for the gaming i do a lot of gaming so i do know that but keep in mind 500 mbps it's not bad at all either the price isn't bad as well too keep in mind the auto pay doesn't kick in for two months from according to their website they have a 300 mbps plan as well too it is where they guarantee 300 mbps up down as well uh 65 dollars a month on uh, Without auto pay, $55 a month on auto pay. Now, if you're a business or somebody that really needs a lot and you have a lot hooked up within your network, they even have a 2 gig speed, which guarantees 2 gigs upload, 2 gigs download, $155 a month without auto pay, $145 a month with auto pay. So they're, roughly their auto pay saves you $10 a month. Meanwhile, then if you are the ultimate, like as far as, and I'm talking corporation, big business, and you know, you're big high intense gamers that, you know, concentrate on gaming or, you know, testing stuff going from there. They have a five gig plan in the St. Louis market. Uh, it's two fifty five a month, uh, without auto pay two forty five a month with auto pay. So they also say right now, no data caps which is an awesome concept to have as well, too, which is something you always want in a provider that, you know, when you're paying, especially the price that you're paying, uh, you want that. But what I like about this is no contract, no installation fee. It used to be where AT&T charged $100 to come in if they needed to come in and put a unit to your, uh, or run cabling, but no installation fee and no termination fee. How does this stack up to my T-Mobile home internet? Just as good on the upload speed, guys, on my T-Mobile home internet. And I can do a comparison, I believe, with that right now. And I'll show you. And we'll, we'll, we'll kind of compare differences between T-Mobile's home internet and that. Let me get into the here. Right now, my T-Mobile home internet is not actually showing up. I apologize. But that being said, let's go ahead and do another speed test. And let's do it at the same time between both of them. Here's one. And this will connect. And that time my speed actually went down on it, on the upload. But this is the download on this unit. And look at the speed on that. Insane, guys. 520. For the download. 579 for the upload MBPS that is in. Uh, again, even at half, even with me pulling half of the speed of my 1 gig wirelessly, I love it. Uh, no complaints so far. Everything actually works really, really good. I haven't had a problem with gaming. I haven't had a problem with streaming. And I'm a heavy-end streamer. All my, uh, I, uh, I virtually, I have cut the cord. And, you know, that is something that was really hard for me. Uh, a long time ago, but I've cut the cord a while back into streaming services, and I have not had a problem one bit, even with the televisions that I have, the gaming, and my daughter does a lot of high intense gaming, she does the battles and everything, she plays the online games and all that, and it works really, really good. Me, 
overall as a recommendation. I recommend everybody stay if you're unless you are really really souped up. The the 500 and the one gig plan are great. Uh, the two gig plan is just icing on the cake for the price. I mean, for 145 dollars on auto pay, that's not bad. But I would probably stay with the 500 Mbps or to safe for a household. I would say one gig for the uh would probably be the best and everything. A lot of people would probably average about that. But otherwise, it really does compare very very well to my T-Mobile home internet. Solid of everything. Again. Straightforward price, no data caps, no installation fee, no termination fee. However, there is a credit check involved with it. So keep in mind of that. And again, T-Mobile Home Internet has a credit check as well too. So that really bases everything. If there's going to be a deposit for it or if there's not going to be a deposit for it, kind of going from there. Uh, but again, the fiber optic is, is their newest technology, which allows it internet well, allows it to deliver everything through tiny glass fibers called, called fiber optic cables to deliver internet through service through light waves. It's very, very good. Great technology. A lot ahead of copper. Uh, I hope this interview, or not interview, but this helps somebody looking to get AT&T fiber in the St. Louis market primarily. Even if you have fiber in other markets, let me know how you like it and everything. Let me know what you like about fiber or what you dislike about fiber and what they could do better. Uh, again, I hope this helps somebody in trying to go ahead and look at the advantages or possibly getting fiber. Snag it up for yourself. I think it's a very good product so far. So far, if I was to give it a grade, I would give it an A plus, just because it really sits up there. I mean, again, even at 500 on my download, cutting it in half and everything, and let's go ahead and go through this again. And it does take a little bit. But look at that. I mean, you have low latency on it. And that's out of a server in Illinois. I mean... The upload speeds alone itself, no questions asked. Again, you're getting a very good, I mean, excellent speed and everything. So I think this is one of the great things about it all going from there. Let me know what you think about this video. I appreciate Double Shots. I appreciate Dylan allowing me to do this video. Please like his channel. Please subscribe if you want to see more content. I will be pumping out new uh, streaming service reviews upcoming in the month of August as well too. So you'll want to stick around for those when those get put up. Until next time, guys.